So tonight, Joe Biden gave his first primetime address, his first formal address since becoming president. And guys, it was a perfectly fine speech. Nothing historic, but he didn't blow it either. But if you listen to Fox News, it was signs of absolute tyranny. I'm just going to play you a Tucker Carlson clip as one example. At points like the Biden presidency itself felt a little bit like a dream sequence. The first part of the president's address described the sadness of the last year. People shut out from hospitals as their loved ones died alone, people losing hope, people losing their own businesses, children not being able to go to school, a whole generation, the president said, of children stunted by school closures. No sense at all of how any of this happened or who backed it, but there the president showing great empathy. His plan consisting essentially of vaccines, vaccines and more vaccines. By May, he said, there will be enough vaccines for every person in America. The military will give you that shot. And if you take that shot, things potentially could get back to normal. No, no mention all of the people who might not want to take that shot. But the president said, if you take that shot and wear your mask and listen to Dr. Fauci, it is possible, not assured, but possible that you might be able to gather in small groups with the ones you love for the 4th of July. We might have to rescind that right, but it's possible if you're obedient, you'll get it. Who are you talking to? This is a free people. This is a free country. How dare you tell us who we can spend the 4th of July with? Alex Berenson is a best-selling author. He joins us now with reaction, a more restrained reaction to the president's address. So Alex, I was struck by the, the substance of his response to COVID, the administration's response to COVID really is the vaccine itself. Um, what do you make of that as a response? And so Joe Biden optimistically saying to people, look, it may not be fully back to normal, but you can have small family gatherings and family and friends over for 4th of July and celebrate what has been a very hard year and a bit is somehow Joe Biden preventing you from your basic liberties. Like Joe Biden is a tyrant. Dr. Fauci is a tyrant. They're stealing your freedoms. And he's sprinkling in a lot of really awful things Things to be said about the vaccine, trying to, in a sense, give legitimacy to the people that are hesitant, all these sorts of ugly things. And he isn't the only one. You had Sean Hannity try to say, look, oh, we should, should be giving Trump more credit. People on Fox, other people were saying, oh, the speech was too well prepared, as if to say that it wasn't erratic enough. Like they'll attack Biden if he's too unprepared. They'll attack him if he's too prepared. If prevent defense, weaken at Bernie, is no risk, whatever you want to call it, that's the game they're playing. And, you know, at some point, you, you, you can't hide forever. You're going to have to come out and answer the questions. Kaylee, how accurate is Stephen Miller's assessment to me that he would go in the president's office, the Oval Office, the president would dictate a speech, he would go on and on, I want this, I want this, I want this, 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 Stephen Miller would go do his thing, and then in the process of writing it, Stephen Miller would get 10 calls to add this, this, and this, take that out, put this in. Isn't that how it went? That's exactly right. And then he'd get this speech and he had this infamous Sharpie and he would go line by line through the speech and make further edits there. But uh, you're right to say this was not something he had to practice 10 times on a teleprompter. Oftentimes he wouldn't even breeze through it once on a teleprompter after his edits. Uh, he was not afraid of questions. We'd be shouting questions at him as he was approaching the briefing room and that would be the extent of his preparation because he was speaking from his heart. It was authenticity. It was transparency. The diametric opposite of what you're getting from the Biden Biden basement strategy administration. You know, and look what I have up on screen right now. These chirons, the you know the the wording under the screen, it's almost as if they 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 don't want to cover the speech. If you read them, it's like, oh, Biden almost done. Get ready for Tucker. Biden should be done in like three minutes. We're going to be seeing Tucker soon. You know, Biden, Biden should already be done. He's going over time. Get ready for Tucker. And if you notice down there, a lot of people pointed this out. They actually took time in this, you know, press conference during this, 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 this address to have like a live reaction of Tucker's face during the speech. I've never seen anything like it. He's like a Twitch or YouTube react bro watching something and just sort of making weird faces. Just really eerie stuff. Look, again, I've been critical of Biden a lot. A lot on this channel over the broad history of this channel. Not as critical as I am of Trump because he's not as bad as Trump, but I've been very critical. But this speech was just perfectly okay. 
It was perfectly fine. Nothing special. A good, normal speech. Fox News hates that. Again, they have nothing really to attack Biden on. The things you attack Biden on are from the left. Not fast enough on the minimum wage. The checks should be bigger. The student loan debt should be canceled. The freedom for migrant children should be stronger and more immediate. All the criticisms are from the left. And so from the right, all they have is conspiracy theory. All they have is performative outrage. And all they have is basically a desire to hide the president from their own audience. Because as we saw with the stimulus, whether we on the left think Biden is perfect or not, the reality is what he's doing is popular, even with Republicans. And so Fox News knows that. And so when push comes to shove, they would rather keep Biden off the screen so that they can lie to people about Dr. Seuss and Pepe Le Pew and all these sorts of culture war things. Don't fall for it.